You've probably tried to lose weight many times with little to no success. Maybe you lost some weight, but it either always comes back or your program wasn't sustainable, so you quit. If you're looking for a way to lose weight, you've come to the right video. If there's one thing I've learned from my 20 years of experience with working with thousands of clients, it's that there's a lot of emotional and mental pain associated with weight gain, especially when your weight has gotten bad or to the point of being uncontrollable. It might even make you angry or sad thinking about it now, but I wanna assure you of one thing before I get into the process. You can either let your past decisions define and or confine you, or you can choose to move on. Yes, your past decisions or lack of action have affected, maybe negatively, maybe really negatively, your current situation. However, your past can't be undone but your past results, where you are now, can't where you wanna be. You can choose to move on and leave it all behind you and start focusing on the present. It's gonna take time, obviously, but it's far from impossible. In fact, I know you can do it. As with pretty much everything that's worth it, the transformation won't happen overnight. It may take a year or more to lose the weight that you wanna lose. The good news, if you follow the process in this video, you'll lose weight fast, and if, if you stay consistent, you'll keep losing weight and keep it off for good. Then in a year, we'll, a year will come and go and you would have lost a significant amount of weight. And more importantly, at least for me, you would have achieved health. And I'm all about achieving health to lose weight instead of losing weight to get healthy. And of course, aside from getting healthy and losing weight, I want you to keep it off. And if you follow the seven steps in this video, you will get insanely fast results and be on track every step of the way. Step number one, you're gonna like this one, skip the exercise more mentality. I hope I'm not starting off on the wrong foot because you think I'm going to try to sell you a magic pill or no exercise pill. Eventually, you'll need to start some type of exercise program and of course, exercise is extremely healthy. Exercise, while it plays a significant role in fat loss, plays a minor role in weight loss. If you have over 50 pounds to lose, we need to get the weight off first. A recent study done by Current Biology took 322 adults from five different countries through a calorie reduction weight loss program. They split the groups between those that did exercise and those that did not. Believe it or not, adding in exercise did not play any, any role, major role, over calories burned or weight loss. And for those that saw changes, they were minor at best. When you start exercising, the first thing you'll begin is walking with a mix, with a mix of uh, metabolic body weight exercises. Metabolic exercise makes sure you're boosting the right fat burning hormones and keeping your stress at fat storing hormones low and out of the way. I have a link in the description for a few of my metabolic workout videos that just involve body weight. And the great thing about metabolic exercise is that it burns calories while you're doing it, but more importantly, it has something called the afterburn effect, meaning your body is continuing to burn calories even at rest and while you sleep. Step two, you wanna focus on food quality, not quantity. I always say, instead of suppressing your appetite, satisfy your appetite. Too many people trying to lose weight are focusing on points, calories, and the scale. This obviously isn't working because if it was, I wouldn't have to shoot this video. 100% of my clients who needed to lose over 50 pounds and who weighed 200 pounds or more had hormonal problems that prevented them from losing weight or burning fat. High cortisol, excess estrogen, low growth hormone, low thyroid, uh, low testosterone, insulin resistance, and many others are likely making weight loss impossible. The solution? Focus on nourishing your body with high quality foods, macronutrients, and hormone healing proteins. Counting calories is not only awful, it usually doesn't work. And if it does, the weight always comes back. Most of the time, even more stubborn than ever before. Step number three, go big with your weight loss efforts. According to the latest science, militant diets win out versus standard diets. Those who lose the most weight in the first two to four weeks of dieting have the greatest weight loss results in the following year. Therefore, losing weight will better impact you in the short term and the long term the most effective thing you can do is actually a cold turkey approach. If you know anything about uh, my philosophy on health and weight loss, you'll know that I hate the short-term diets. So for me, to say this, is it, for me to say this, it's saying a lot about the importance of losing weight fast. Dropping weight fast will motivate you to keep going. You'll keep making better eating choices, keep exercising, and you'll stay consistent. 
You need a win right away if you have a lot of weight to lose and I want to help you have a fast weight loss win. Step number four, balance your macronutrients. Now that you've decided to plan your meals, great idea, it's about time you learn how to balance your meals for a fat burning metabolism. Most people, they just go through some, they just add some protein and some vegetables on a plate together and they call it a day and think that's all they need to lose weight. While you probably will lose weight on a, just a protein and vegetable diet, you'll end up slowing down your metabolism and you, it won't last very long eating a boring, unenjoyable, unsustainable diet. You need carbs and fat to lose weight and boost your metabolism. The trick l lies in knowing which carbs and which fats to include in your daily eating and which ones to exclude most of the time from your eating. The best strategy for meal balancing or macro balancing as I like to call it and that I teach in many of my programs uh, begins with choosing simplicity and focusing on keeping things simple. When you keep your meals simple, you're more likely to stick to it. Step number five, and this kind of piggybacks over balancing your macros. You want to cycle your carbohydrates, eat more protein, and be very picky with your fats. It's very likely that you're dealing with insulin resistance when you're overweight. It's, I'm almost 99% sure you have insulin resistance, and I know with 100% certainty, the only way to overcome this is with the carb detox, then a carb cycling approach for more sustainability. Another fact with anyone overweight is they probably aren't eating nearly enough high quality protein. You are probably protein deficient without even knowing it. You might even be confused as to which fats to avoid and which ones to eat. You might think nuts, flax oil, and olive oil are all the best oils. Well, you're in for a wake-up call because if you can't, if you don't manage your carbs, increase your protein, and change up your fats, weight loss is going to be very difficult for you. Don't worry, I am going to make things extremely easy for you, making your weight loss seem almost effortless. Step number six, and actually this is probably my favorite step, even though it has nothing to do with nutrition or exercise. In a way it does, but directly it does not. So step number six, you wanna heal your digestive system, detox your liver, and boost your thyroid. Optimal digestion and assimilation of food and nutrients is vital, vital for healthy weight loss. The hormones of the digestive tract are responsible for appetite control, food digestion, nutrient absorption, and toxin removal. Your digestive, digestive system is strongly related to your nervous system, which influences your endocrine system or your hormones. Uh, if you treat your stomach like a garbage disposal with low quality foods, your hormones will repay you with a weight gain. Overconsumption of inflammatory foods can lead to leaky gut syndrome, IBS, chronic diarrhea, colitis, and more food intolerances. An inflamed gut makes it nearly impossible for you to have a flat stomach or engage the muscles consisting of your core, which means heart, it'll be difficult for you to have a flat stomach. Optimal health and weight loss are not possible without a healthy liver. The liver is the major detoxification organ and filters most hormones. It's responsible for 75% of T4 to T3 conversion, which T3, con T3 is the active form of thyroid hormone, which regulates your metabolism and provides energy in the form of glycogen, your liver. Uh, it, also, it also filters excess estrogen, helping with the overall progest progesterone and estrogen ratios. When the liver is overburdened by excess stress hormones like cortisol, alcohol, processed food, artificial sweeteners, uh, high fructose corn syrup and excess sugar, and an overall poor quality diet, the two phases of detoxification are totally inhibited. The thyroid gland produces uh, three hormones, uh, thyroxine T4, thyroid triothyroidine T3, and calcitonin. T4 and T3 are what most people think of as uh, when they think of thyroid hormones. These hormones play a significant role in your metabolism and in energy regulation in the body. Thyroid hormones act on almost every kind of cell in your body to increase cellular, cellular activity, activity or metabolism. If there is too much or too little thyroid hormone, the metabolism of your entire body is impacted. Because the thyroid hormones T3 and T4 control cellular, cellular metabolism throughout the body, when there is not enough of them for any reason, this metabolic function slows and becomes impaired. Since the thyroid gland regulates metabolism, there is a strong correlation between thyroid disease and weight. Weight gain is more severe in people with hypothyroidism, a slow thyroid, due to an excess accumulation of salt and water. Weight loss is common in people who have hyperthyroidism. So it's very important to consider and make sure that your diet and lifestyle are focused on 
a healthy digestive system, a detoxified liver, and a boosted thyroid. Step number seven, drink these three drinks every day. Number one, lemon water. Drinking warm lemon water first thing in the morning is another great way to stimulate weight loss. It's also a great healthy habit to add to your get healthy journey of transformation. This drink provides uh, crucial nutrients for the body and is easy to do. Just make sure you use a real lemon and not lemon juice from Concentrate. Simply squeeze half of a lemon into a warm cup of water in the morning. Drink number two, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is one of the best liquids to heal your gut and protect yourself and even detoxify your liver. Drink this apple cider uh, either in the morning or before bed for a healthy digestion and immune system. The ingredients are down below. It's essentially eight ounces of water, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of raw honey, optional, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, also optional, and one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I personally like to drink my apple cider vinegar with some sea salt and you don't have to drink very much. And drink number three, metabolic coffee, green tea, or yerba mate. Coffee, green tea, and yerba mate have all been shown in multiple studies to be effective in stimulating your metabolism and certain fat burning hormones. I have three recipes down below in the description. Finally, step number eight, you wanna start your weight loss journey the right way. If this video hit home for you, a health focused program is really the best place to start your weight loss journey. My clients in my programs have lose an average of eight to 21 pounds in just 21 days and absolutely love the recipes and workouts. But even better than the weight loss is the feedback I get from uh, about how the program has taught them to change their eating habits and find a diet that truly works for them in the long term is relatively enjoyable and sustainable. If you're at least 20 pounds overweight and ready to make a huge and permanent change in your life, then the only place for you to start is a program that that contains all of the steps and focuses that I've discussed in this video. Your digestive system, your metabolism, your hormones, and all the things in between to helping you set goals and uh, work on a achieving healthy habits. And honestly, you don't even have to buy one of my programs or, or anybody else's books because there's plenty of people that also teach and have the similar philosophy as mine. If you just started watching all my videos or go to my website, I have the number one Pinterest page for carb cycling, intermittent fasting, and metabolic diets. And you can have everything there for free and achieve healthy, sustainable weight loss. The programs just kind of consolidates it and you have access to me through email and inside our private Facebook group. The, the strategies that I teach will help make necessary changes in your diet, fitness, and lifestyle, and it'll help make them not temporary and more permanent. Thanks so much for watching this video. In the description below, I have a free 24 hour metabolism reset with uh, recipes and more information on how to achieve a uh, health focused metabolic type of way of eating um, that helps you lose weight fast, but also keeps it off. Cause that's what I like for people to lose weight fast just to get that per that win in the beginning. And then I kind of teach a more permanent, enjoyable way of eating, which my favorite is carb cycling because it allows you to drink alcohol, uh, eat your favorite carbs and still lose weight. Just click the link below on the 24 hour metabolism reset. I'll send it to you absolutely for free. You don't have to buy anything. Um, I have more videos coming out that outline very similar process of losing weight quickly. I know you probably thought you were gonna get this magic meal plan and workout guide, which I have some of that in the metabolism reset, but the change truly starts with knowing what type of strategy to go about because you can use this strategy with any diet. If you love keto, if you love Mediterranean, it all works when you have your mindset right, you believe you can do it, and of course you focus on healthy fat loss. I know I dragged out this uh, conclusion of the video, but uh, that's what it is. I appreciate you watching this video. Hit that like button if you learned anything, and of course subscribe to my channel for more free content on how to live a more health-focused fat loss life.